and welcome back to the Abergavenny Food Festival. Now, as I said earlier, one of the things that's nice about these sort of food festivals is that you can wander around and you don't actually have to go home and cook. Very simply, I'm just going to dress up a charcuterie plate. This is the stuff I picked up earlier. Um, so we've got some nice selection of charcuterie. We've got some um, good smoked kefili here. Um, some roasted peppers and some pickled chilies and some olives. I'm going to make a little dip of harissa and some olive oil and some creme fraiche together. I've got some little bits of, uh, a little bit of chili jelly there. A few little accompaniments, I guess. So, a few bits of your nice selection of ham. Tear off this, this papery skin. And make sure when you're buying charcuterie, make sure it's all the, uh, the cured stuff, all the cooked stuff and uh, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be cooking it. So nice thin slices, that's very important with charcuterie. It's way for thin as you could possibly get it, because what that does is allow it to come up to room temperature, and that's the best way to try it, and that's where you'll get all those nice oils and what have you coming out. A little snack salamis, they're my favourite. So a few slices of those. Nice big fat salami here, smoked kefili. So what I've got next is these peppers. These have been um, grilled by the looks of it. Again, not going to do much to it, but I think I might dress that up in a little bit of seasoning. A little of salt, pepper, a little splash of oil. There's enough fat in that pork not to worry about dressing it all up. So there's your peppers, little pickled chilies, a few olives. So for the dip, a little bit of creme fraiche, splash of olive oil in that bit of flavour and then finally this lovely harissa um, which is it's a Welsh harissa which I haven't come across before before you start chucking it in dishes try it because some harissa blow your head off and this is nice this is quite it's quite mild it's got a bit of oh, it's got a bit of kick at the end I'd mix that up the creme fraiche is obviously going to mellow that and if I had it a little squeeze of lemon juice in there would be really good so in with that, and then finally we got this lovely chili jelly made in Wales. It's got a bit of a sort of fiery kick, so again, we're all going mad on that, and that'll be a nice little accompaniment to um, to dip some uh, dip some flatbread in. Again, don't go crazy with that. So there you go, that's the charcuterie plate. That's how I would dress it. Little dips on the side. You have to imagine some nice char grilled sort of flatbread there. You want to go home from a food festival such as today, go home, crash out in front of the TV, nice bottle of rich red wine or a really good white wine, slurp away and munch on that. What more could you want? This here is Richard Gaffney. He was my fish supplier in the restaurant. Dig oh, in. Okay. Local meats. What's this one, mate? That's a snack salami. Snack salami. It's a bit like, um, you know, one of those brands. Welsh? It is Welsh. That's All Welsh salami. It's great. It's really good. It's really, really, good, really good stuff, really isn't good. it? The little dips over there were Welsh. The cheese is good. Smoked filling. That's all Welsh. That's super, mate. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. That's a tribute to the festival. So there you go, I couldn't have said it better myself. A real tribute to the Abergavenny Food Festival. Some really, really good local charcuterie put on a fake very, very simply. Mm -hmm.